Hello everyone, welcome to August What's New in Beauty video. I have some really interesting things, some things that are perfect for summer, some Korean skincare and new makeup from a brand that is connected with BTS. So there are some very cool things in this video if you're interested in finding out what's new on the market, what's upcoming on the market, what's new to my collection, and any first impressions or long-term impressions that I have of any of these things, then this is the video for you. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel by hitting that red subscribe button. Go follow Follow Allure Beauty on Instagram. The username will be in the description box below. I'll probably run a giveaway once we hit a thousand followers on Instagram. So if you want to be part of that, then make sure you are a follower. And of course, if you missed the last video, make sure you go see it. I'll link it in the upper right hand corner for you. It is for my favorite new brand and some limited edition eyeshadow palettes that they have released. They are supposed to launch, I think, tomorrow. So if you want a sneak peek at how beautiful and amazing they are, then make sure you go check out that video. All right, let's get looking looking at what's new in beauty, skincare, makeup, and accessories for August 2019. As always, I will put timestamps in the description box below so you can jump around if you want to, and I will give you cutaways to me actually using these products to create the look that I have for you in this video so you can see how they actually function and wear. First, let's look at the products that I've already done full reviews for. So if you missed those videos, I will link those for you as we go over these so you can go check them out. The the first one is something I had mentioned a couple of What's New Beauty videos ago, but the actual application and review video hasn't gone up until recently. That is for a company called Jade Cosmetics. They are a fantastic brand to get luxury feeling and luxury quality products without breaking the bank. So they are absolutely beautiful for, I think, a more natural look. The brand has one of my absolutely favorite lipsticks in a kind of lipstick slash balm texture and consistency. So if that's something that's appealing to you, make sure you go check out the video for a full face application and review. L'Oreal's Summer Collection that is launched exclusively through Walmart's website is the Summer Bell Collection. And I did a full application again and review with swatches of that. It is perfect for a very summery bronzy look if that's what you're feeling right now. In this video, I did use this huge bronze, please, La Terra Sun Powder face and body. Body, and I applied it mostly just on the forehead, a little bit over the nose for a more bronzed look. And last is the video sneak peeking the two limited edition summer palettes from Kaleidos Makeup. They are just absolutely stunning. One of them is a neon palette and the other one is more of a turquoisey palette. And each of these features a newly formulated eyeshadow that is a mix of like glitter and duochrome. So if this is something that appeals to you, they have a great great deal going on that lets you buy three of them at a discount or all five of the palettes in the Futurism collection for a discount. So anyway, go check both of the videos out that I have done for Kaleidos Makeup because this is a fabulous brand. All right, let's move on to the things that I have not done reviews or videos for yet. And let's do, let's do skincare first. So as my base, I used some things from a new Korean skincare and makeup brand. The brand is called VT Cosmetics and they are advertised by the group BTS, which is a very, very popular K-pop band. I'm sure I don't have to explain that to you. So this is a brand that has both skincare and makeup, which I think is very cool. Now they sent along a whole box of both some skincare items and some makeup items. It's kind of random, but this little <laughs> image that you can stand up was in the box. I thought that was kind of funny. And so one of the skincare items is this three-step program. A lot of Korean skincare has these kinds of different steps with a mask and then like an ampule or something like that. This one has a toner essence and then two masks inside. They also sent along this cream. I don't know exactly how you pronounce it. It's spelled C-I-C-A. Now I didn't actually test these out because I wasn't a huge fan of the ingredients. Um, actually, the essence in here is good but then the masks and this cream they just had some either alcohol or some volatile plant essences that are fragrances that I didn't really want to use on my face one thing that I did test out because I did really like the ingredients is this product and it's kind of a curious product again I don't know how it's pronounced Sika double mist or Sika double mist and you can use this on the face it comes out with a really really fine mist I actually used it more like a toner or a kind of prepping essence kind of 
product. You could also, it says, use over makeup if you want to help refresh it, but it seems like from viewing the bottle that it has oil in it. So I'm not sure if you would want to do that over makeup because it may cause it to break. Um, I haven't tested it out for that purpose, but I did this as the very first step of my skincare. And I have to say, I really, really enjoy the way it feels on the face. It feels quite hydrating and nourishing. The one ingredient that is the only criticism that I really have is the very last one, which is fragrance. Now, because it is the very last ingredient, I don't have a huge problem with it because that means there's a very, very small amount. But as always, I always prefer that my makeup and skincare has zero fragrance. Otherwise, there are a lot of good ingredients in this product. It has as the second ingredient glycerin, which is really Really nice hydrator, Centella Asiatica extract. There's a lot of other like fruit extracts like cranberry extract, um, tea tree leaf oil, avocado oil. There's eggplant extract, turmeric root extract, and green tea. So a bunch of good things in here. And I also really appreciate how fine of a mist this is. It is just super, super fine and dispersed. So you're not gonna end up, if you did use it over makeup, you're not gonna end up with these big globs of water on your face. And in terms of makeup, they sent along the mascara that they have in their line and four of their lip product shades. So this is what the packaging looks like here. So whereas the skincare is in kind of white and green, the um, makeup packaging is in black boxes, but the packaging itself, as opposed to the box, is in this purple shade, which I think is really attractive and is a nice refreshing departure from your typical, you know, black or white packaging. So first let's talk about this mascara. I did use it for this look. The brush is super, super, thin and small and I did use this both on the upper and lower lashes but it didn't do very much for my upper lashes I will say that if you're just looking for separation this is fantastic because it will not clump in any sort of circumstance but it didn't give me the volume that I want for my lashes so actually I am going to use this in the future for my lower lashes because the brush is so thin it really allows me to get in my lower lashes without um clumping or hitting up against my skin. So in this final look, there's not only this VT, um, BTS mascara on, but also on top of it is my ColourPop mascara, which I really like. Now in terms of the lip products, these are the Super Tempting Lip Rouges. These are liquid lip rouges, so kind of like liquid lipsticks, but the thing with these is that the formula is nothing like your traditional liquid lipstick. It is velvety, it is pillowy, it is super nourishing on the lips. There is nothing drying about these and it is just a pleasure to wear them. So they sent over four of the shades. Let's go ahead and swatch all of them. From a lightest to darkest, first we have 01. I don't think that there are English names on here, but this one is kind of a pinky uh, peony kind of shade. I guess this isn't from lightest to darkest because this is the shade 02 and this one is a pretty bright like um it's a pink, but it's kind of like a fuchsia kind of bright pink there. Shade 04 is more of a nudie shade. And shade 7 is a really bright red shade. So you can see they have very vivid color, a slightly glossy finish, although that really dies down to a pretty much matte finish over time. This is what my lips look like after I have snapped a little bit while wearing this. And I actually combined shades 01 and 04, but I love the formula. It's not as long wearing as a traditional liquid lipstick, again, because it's not as drying and adhering to the skin, but it's much more more comfortable to wear. And I just wiped this off with a makeup wipe. You can see that it leaves a nice little stain behind. So that's VT Cosmetics. I'm sure that they will be quite popular, especially with BTS helping promote them. So thank you to VT Cosmetics for sending these items along. And the second skincare product that I have been testing out lately is from Dr. Babor. I hope that's how you pronounce it. This is the first time I've tried one of their skincare items and I am super impressed. This is the Lifting RX Dual Eye Solution. 
It comes in a pretty nifty bottle here. It opens up on each end. It has a pump on each send end. And one side is an eye cream for the daytime and the other side is an eye cream for the nighttime. Both of the eye creams have sweet almond oil in them as one of the first ingredients, which is a great ingredient. It is a non-volatile, non-fragrant oil, and it makes for a very emollient, nourishing eye cream. It has a gel texture, so it does sink into the skin, but at the same time is super nourishing. So I have loved using this on the under eye area where I do have dryness and where my um, concealer tends to show more dryness or lines increasing. I don't know that there is a huge difference in terms of the ingredients for each eye cream um, and they feel very similar to each other so I wouldn't worry too much about making sure you only use one of them at, day at the daytime and one of them at the nighttime. But the AM1 has in addition to the sweet almond oil glycerine, squalane, niacinamide, caffeine, a little bit of glycolic acid and some lactic acid and then the nighttime eye cream has also glycerin, shea butter, a little less of the niacinamide, and also a little bit of glycolic acid and some vitamin C. This admittedly is very pricey at full retail. It's $99, although you can usually find it at about half that price. But if you're willing to spend the extra on a luxury eye uh, cream, this is a fantastic formula with that gel consistency that really nourishes and sinks in. Let's move on to new makeup now. There is the Summer Collection by Lancome. I love the packaging for this, very, very French. Um, this collection is limited edition, so these items will not be around for very much longer. The first item which I wore as my blush today, I don't have any other blush on, it's just this beautiful bronzer. This is the Le French glow bronzer. I believe there's two shades. I have the lighter set here. This is 01 Light Liberté. And as you can see, it is a consists of four different strips of color. Technically, the top three strips have some shimmer in them. And then the lower strip, the bottom strip does not have any shimmer. And I love not only the color, but also the level of shimmer in this. I don't like bronzers that are super, super glittery and shimmery. I just don't really see the point of putting that all over my cheeks or for people who like to put bronzer, you know, on a lot of the portion of their face, um, I especially don't really like shimmer to be all over my forehead and things like that. So I love the consistency of this powder. The shade works really well if you are anywhere from fair to I think light skin toned. It is so hot in here so I'm getting sweaty but um, like I was saying I think it works beautifully as a bronzer or as a blush and because the shimmer is very refined you can use it all over the planes of the face if you're someone who typically uses bronzer on the forehead, over the nose, and anywhere else that the sun would hit naturally on. You. And Lancome's iconic L'Absolute Rouge lipsticks, which you, did you see that? You press in the top there and it pops out of the bottom. I think that's so, so cool. This beautiful, stunning shade here. It's kind of like a strawberryish red. The shade is called Caprice. It is shade 132. Beautiful limited edition products by Lancome. If you're interested in them, make sure you check them out kind of soon because they should be phasing out pretty quickly. The next brand that reached out to me to send some products for me to try out is a brand called Focalore and they have very affordable makeup options on their website. So I actually did an eyeshadow look with this eyeshadow palette. This is the Perth 15 color eyeshadow palette in the L'Oreal Summer Bell uh, collection video if you want to go see that. In addition, I also created this eye look using this uh, eyeshadow palette exclusively. I have to say, I was a little bit skeptical at first, and whenever I see websites that have eyeshadow palettes like this that are super affordable, I kind of question whether the quality is going to be there, and I have been impressed every time that I use this palette. They also sent along a second palette that I requested, which is the Prague eyeshadow palette. I have not even opened this, and I am going to keep this in the packaging because I'm going to put this in a giveaway. Um, I just know that I will, I'm sure I will use it uh, several times and and be very impressed by it also given how much I like the Perth palette but I have so many palettes and I will someone else out there will enjoy this and use it for its full life so I'm going to put it in a giveaway but 
this palette I, I adore. Um, this eyeshadow look was created first putting down the matte shades, which have beautiful pigmentation, blend out very easily and smoothly, and then on top of that, patting on the shimmering shades on the lid, and then using this adorable, beautiful, stunning uh, Pavlova shade in the lower corner here. And again, I this the quality of this palette is absolutely there and the price point is superb so i'm very impressed by that i also have the sculpt glow this is a duo where you have a sculpting powder that's matte on top and then a highlighter on the bottom i did use the sculpting powder to contour my face i really like that this powder is very gray toned so it is true to a shadow or a true contour and it blends out pretty nicely the highlighter i have to be a little bit careful with because it can very easily leave a white cast it's not super glittery it does have a nice refined sheen um, but i can't use a lot of it because it is is so white that it will leave a white cast if you use too much. Oh, and the duo I got was 02. And then there are a couple of lip products sent along. This one here is the Long Lasting and Ultra Matte Liquid Lip Stain, and the shade is 0 or V03 Poppy. And a liquid lip stain kind of intrigued me. Ooh, this has, okay, so this has more of a thin formula to it. I can't tell if it I don't think it has a scent. Let's let this dry down and see. While that's drying, I will show you a, another lip product. This is the Velvet Liquid Lipstick for Plump Smooth Lips. There are a couple of shades that I got. This shade is V03, who's next? Something I will note is all of Focalore's items are very securely packaged. It's actually kind of difficult to get the wrap off and they have like protective stickers that show that it hasn't ever been tampered with or opened. So I do appreciate that. So that's the packaging for the second lip product much more of a worn toned rusty kind of shade i also have that in shade v04 lust but i am going to again put this in a giveaway all right that first shade has dried down that's what it looks like a smudge test it does smudge somewhat, but it should be fairly resistant, although not proof. And then the second formula is more of like a cream, so it's not as drying down as the other one. So you can see it's not as much of a like a staining formula. See how powerful that stain is on that first red one. Okay, it's not a super staining product. Uh, on the lips, if you let it sit, it'll probably leave a light stain behind there. And the company was nice enough to give you a discount. So if you use the code Allura15, you will get 15% off your order. I'll put that in the description box below along with all the other information, any other discount codes they might have for you. It's not an affiliate link, so it's just free for you to use if you happen to make a purchase. So anyway, those are the products that I have been able to test out from Focalore. Thank you very much for sending these items. And I hope whoever gets that palette in their giveaway will be just as ecstatic as I have been. And then I have the latest latest palette release from Profusion. If you haven't seen my previous videos on this brand, this is a brand that is available at Target and they are a phenomenal brand. Again, providing you super affordable makeup at a phenomenal level of quality for the price. So this latest palette is the Mirage palette, it is very beautiful. And you can see that it is a set of pinkish reddish tones and you also have a bunch of sparkling glittery shades included. Oh, it's actually new for fall 2019. It says capture the illusion of the desert from dusk to dawn. The heat wave lives on in the velvety smooth and multi-finish Mirage palette. New for fall 2019, 36 richly saturated pigments range from a horizon, hor horizon? horizon of neutrals and warm toned browns to a blazing array of amber and maroon hues. Pressed glitters in this special palette make adding the extra sizzle a refreshing breeze. Oh, and guess how much this entire palette of 35 different shades is? $13. So even if you don't win this palette in a giveaway, it is so nice to be able to go to your local Target and pick these up and not even come close to breaking the bank. And once again, I know that one of you can love this palette much more than I could just given the amount of makeup that I have to get through. So I am going to be giving this palette away, but thank you to Perfusion for letting us check out your newest eyeshadow palette. 
I think this is the last makeup thing and it is something that I showed in a previous recent video, but I wanted to update you because I have tested it out several more times in addition after that video. This is the Pure 4-in-1 Love Your Selfie Longwear Foundation and Concealer. This is kind of a cool product because you can dispense it like a foundation and you also can twist and pop this out to use as a concealer. So that part I appreciate and is nifty, but to be honest, I do not love the way this looks on my skin. It does not look seamless and flawless. It actually is a foundation where I can really see more texture on my skin than I am used to with most other foundations. So I cannot say that I have been loving using this um, and I can't say that I would personally recommend it as long as you have skin kind of similar to mine. Um, and so yeah. All right, let's move on to some really fun accessory and bath items. The first of which is this product. This is from a company called Merci Handy, and this is the Slime Shower Jelly Unicorn Edition. Look at this thing. It is so super fun and glittery. And here's what it looks like inside. And it smells amazing. It is a mixture of like a sweet and bakery scent. I don't know exactly what they've put in it, but it smells delicious. And of course you have all that fun glitter in there. It does have a jelly consistency, so it might take a little bit getting used to, but I've used this in the shower and it has, I would say a lower to medium level, level of lather. So don't expect it to suds up a lot, but it's just super fun to use. I mean, the point of this is to really have fun. And I think if you use this in the bath, that would be even cooler to be able to kind of rub it all over your body and then maybe have some sparkling bubbles in your bath. The directions on this say that in the shower, dip your fingers into the magical anti-stress texture and take a small amount of jelly the size of a spatial nut. I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but I definitely used more than a small little dollop. Let the glitter jelly melt and foam on your skin while singing a hit from the 90s. Rinse in order to complete your interstellar journey. So just a really fun company with fun products. If you've never heard of them, then go check out their stuff. Next up is a brand that I have always sung high praises for. This is Sol de Janeiro. They have amazing fragranced body products. And yes, I know we're supposed to have our skincare and not have fragrance, but when it comes to products like this, like a body spray or something for your hair, or even sometimes a body butter, I do break that rule sometimes. This is one of my favorite body sprays for the summer. This is my second bottle and they were kind enough to send along another one. Um, this is their Body Fragrance Mist. And there's just no other way to explain this but that it smells exactly like summer if you had a pina colada with you in a coconut and you were sitting on the beach and it's hot and you are wearing a suntan lotion. It's just that is what this scent embodies. So if you want a perfect scent for the summer, I will spray this on my body. I will also spray it in my hair because the oils help to give you that shine and that nourishment along with giving you a fabulous scent. And last is a product that was sent by Pretty Display, which I've actually used some of their products before. They have an acrylic jewelry and you could also use it for makeup display that you can mount on your wall and it's available through Amazon. And I'm actually in the midst of reworking my makeup room. So I haven't mounted this on the wall yet, but I'll show you what it looks like and how it works. So this is kind of like a shelf that you can mount and it has a little lip here so that you can put products like your body spray on there if you wanted to. Or of course you can put some candles or maybe a uh, little jar of bobby pins, anything that you want to display and have easy access to in your makeup room. You have some skincare items that you wanna put on there. And something that you can add is this piece and this allows you to hang a bunch of earrings. So as you can see here, there's two rows. At the top, I put some studs. And then if you have some more dangly earrings, you can put them on the bottom so that they can hang. You'll also get this piece here. Again, you can see where you can mount it on the wall. All the mounting materials are provided in the box that you get everything in. This is really nice. And again, a space, space efficient way to store things like necklaces, watches, bracelets. So here's an example of just some bracelets that you might wanna put on there if you have some watches that you want easy access to, or if you have some rings that you want to have on display too. 
you can easily fit them on there. Of course, necklaces also. So I really like these because it is a way that you can keep your jewelry out in the open. That encourages you to use them, not forget about them. Um, instead of having them cooped up inside a makeup bag or a jewelry box like I have with most of my makeup, and then I end up forgetting about them and I don't use them. So this is a way to have easy access. It's space efficient. It's also because it's acrylic and clear, it works well with any sort of room, any sort of design, any sort of wall color that you may have, it fits right in. All right, that's what's new for August 2019. I hope that you enjoyed. Please give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Let me know anything that you have been enjoying new this month. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch, and I'll see you in the next video.